heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So I was on uh, Kiwi Box. I was on his channel. Go to his channel. Subscribe. I was on his channel and I seen somebody in his comment section say that Junior Fa is scheduled to fight Fred Latham. All right. Uh, November the 10th. Okay. Man, this is an interesting fight, man. Um, wow. Both guys kind of, kind of mirror each other as far as, you know, Fa. He's a big guy. He's about, what, 6'6". Six, six. He listed a 6'5", six, about 6'6", six, six, 250, 260 pounds. Very long reach, 83 inches or 82 and a half. Um, he can box pretty well for a big guy. Pretty fleet of foot. Um, has a good jab. Um, good hand speed. You know, he's a prospect to watch, definitely. Fred Latham, all right? He's 9-0 with two draws. Now, He's the type of guy, you know, when I watch him fight, man, he luck he likes to use his jab and he has pretty damn quick hands. Um he's a big guy himself. Although he's not a super tall heavyweight, he's six foot two. He's still about 250 pounds, can move very well. Um, good amateur experience. Well, I've seen some amateur fights. I'm not sure how long his amateur experience lasted, but I know he has some amateur fights that I've seen. Um quick hands. First thing I notice is quick hands. He's patient. He can uh he has pretty good defense for a heavyweight, can bend and roll with shots and duck at the waist and uh you know can take a step or two back, you know. Um I like what I see, you know, and he's won some uh regional titles, some minor titles you see here, the vacant WBC United States heavyweight title. Um so he you know, he has been in some good fights. They both have fought Keith Barr. Uh, Latham went decision with Key Bar to over 10 rounds and Fa, I believe he stopped him in three. Let me just look it up really quick. I believe Fa stopped Bar in three. Yeah, he stopped him in three. That was on the uh, Deontay Wilder, Gerald Washington card. They also had, um, who else fought on that card? Israel Gono in Brazil fought on that card. All right. Um, yeah, so Latham, you know, he has pretty quick hands too. You know, I'm curious to see who's, who's going to be the aggressor in the fight. I'm assuming it's going to be Fa. This, to me, is his is uh, his best opponent of his young career. This is going to be a good fight, man. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be here in the States. It's going to be, in, I believe it's in Cleveland, um, Ohio. Um, I'm not sure what fight card that's a part of. I'm not sure. But I think it's going to be in Cleveland, Ohio. But um, damn good fight, man. It's a damn good matchup. Um... Latham, his best opponent right here, you can see, is Alonzo Butler, Big Zoe. Zoe's actually in the um, Deontay Wilder training camp right now. If you guys go to the Boxing Voice, they have a lot of videos up. Shit, even with Wilder and Butler doing an interview together, I believe. But, uh, yeah, Butler's in Wilder's camp right now. And that was a draw. Now, I know Butler spoke about that before. He thought that he clearly won the fight. I'm sure Latham, I haven't heard him speak about it, but just knowing fighters, I'm sure that he would feel as if he won the fight. You know, it was a draw. So uh, Latham is not going to be an easy cakewalk for Junior Fa. Not that I think Junior is looking at him as a cakewalk, but just for some of you fans, like the Fa fans, it's not going to be an easy fight, man. Um, I would favor Fa in the fight because I think he has a lot of experience. Well, I don't think. I know he has a lot of amateur experience, World Series of Boxing experience. He's been in there with a handful of quick guys. Shit, he even fought Alexander Usyk in the uh, World Series of Boxing. So Latham, I don't think, will show him anything he's never seen before. But I think Fa not only can fight on the back foot a little bit, I think when he's aggressive, I'm not sure if, La if Latham can stop his aggression. Um, will he be able to pin Latham against the ropes and, and, and work his body and work uppercuts? Fa's a pretty decent body puncher for a big guy you know so i would favor five in this fight it's gonna be very interesting late that is not a pushover quick hands good jab um respectable right hand uh this is gonna be just a damn good fight man i like these type of cross worlds type of fights this isn't just a step i mean this isn't just a uh fight for five this is a fight for latham also this is a in my opinion a prospect cross road type of fight you know what i mean so should be an interesting fight, man, come November the 10th. Let me just try to look at some information really quick about this fight. Now, this is Box Rec. Sometimes Box Rec can be off a little bit with their info. Uh, let me see here. It's a Lou DiBella Entertainment. Okay, we know that. 
Um, yeah, Cleveland, Ohio. Let me view the event. It has to be some type of big event. Let me see. Television, USA Showtime. So it's a Showtime card. Luis Rosa versus... I can't pronounce that guy's first name. Dale Evans. Uh, what weight class are those guys? Let's see here. Bantamweight. Super Bantamweight. Okay. So... If it's on Showtime, I wonder if it's going to be like a, uh, got to be like a Showbox card, I'm assuming, but I'm not sure. Hopefully, uh, you know, this fight is televised. Um, I think it's worth it, at least to open up the show. I think it'd be worth it. I'm not sure. Um, don't quote me on any of this. I'm just going, don't quote me on any of this. I'm just going by what uh, Box Rec has on here that's going to be televised by Showtime. I'm assuming um, Showbox, but hopefully Favre's Latham can at least open the show up. But as more information comes out about this fight possibly being televised, I'll let you guys know. But Latham versus Fa is a pretty interesting fight. I'm favoring Fa in the fight. How many rounds is scheduled for? I think it's eight. Let me just look that up really quick, too. Yeah, it's an eight-rounder, man. So, And Latham is a guy that's went ten rounds. What, he went ten rounds? What, one, two? He's been ten rounds twice. Recently, well, his most recent fights. Um, he hasn't fought this year. The last he fought was uh December of last year, and then the beginning of 2016 also. So hasn't been super active, you know. But um, so hopefully he's in shape and he's ready to go, man. Uh, when he steps in the ring, it'll be just under a year. So maybe you know his inactivity could be some problems i'm not sure and then fa he the last time he fought was uh, like i said um no actually he fought on the wilder card and then he fought daniel ty a month later and then two months after that he fought hunter sam so this is his uh fourth fight you know so he's been extremely active i think that's always a plus although latham could be in the gym training but as fighters tell you you know being in the gym just training is a lot different than being in training camps um, unless you're, you know, giving guys good sparring and you literally are in training camps, but, um, he's been inactive as far as him having fights, you know, so this will be Fa's fourth fight and this will be, uh, Latham's first fight of 2017. So interesting matchup, man. You guys let me look in the comment section. I'm gone.